guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. I am a second year medical student living in Krakow, Poland. Today, I want to talk about how to apply to medical school. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to apply to three different medical schools all across Poland. Stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to be sharing a few tips that I wish I would have known before I started my application process. going to talk about how to apply to Jagiellonian University in Krakow, Medical University of Warsaw, and Medical University of Gdańsk. But before I get into all that nitty-gritty, I just wanted to give a brief overview of the application process in case these aren't the three schools you're trying to apply to. Basically, the application process comes down to four steps. Step number one, choose a university that best suits you. Step number two, send over some initial documents and fill out an online application system that basically just ask for contact information and education history. After that, you have to take a competency test. And once receiving the results from that, you're either accepted or denied. Step number four is just send over additional documents um, and finalize everything. And then finally, pay the tuition and you are officially a medical student. Let's start with the application process for Jagiellonian University in Krakow. Don't worry, I'll have all the school websites linked below. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pull up the school website. You want to make sure you're on the MD program in English if that's what you're looking for. Here you can access application timeline and forms. Here it shows you the deadlines and dates for the 2020 admission cycle. For this particular school, they have entry exam dates located in Chicago, Krakow, and Oslo, Norway. At this point in the page, you can find the application through their online application system portal. Also noted here is that there's an application fee of 100 PLN. On this page, you'll see a more detailed description of who can apply, how the final results are calculated, and along with the admissions process and schedule. Towards the bottom, you see here, it says, which documents are required for, for enrollment and which documents are required in order to sit for the qualification exam. You can see here, in order to sit for the qualification exam, you must have a motivational letter, a copy of Diploma of Secondary Education, and a copy confirming the knowledge of English. Once admitted into the program, you must submit additional documents. Here they have listed a personal questionnaire, original copies of all documents, copy of high school diploma, or secondary education diploma, a health certificate, and immunization proof. Further down the screen, they specify which documents need to be translated into Polish. And finally, you must have insurance in order to be enrolled in the medical school. Back on the home page, you can see there is a section for admissions criteria. This specifies exactly how to be eligible for admissions into the study. And finally, there is an additional tab listing all documents required. All right, now let's move on to Medical University of Warsaw, Poland's capital. On their Division of English Medical School website, you click to the right on Six Year MD Program. Here it will show you a list of all the requirements and how to become eligible for the program. It also lists the tuition fees similar to the previous school they are using an online application system. So to be eligible for this school you must have a high school diploma, take a competency test, have passing grades in biology, chemistry, physics, or math, Improve English language proficiency and register via their online application system. The timeline for this school is a little different than the last, with the application opening in March. Further down the page, there is a link for registration online, as well as instructions to fill out, follow, check, and pay. Further down the page, they show once again that further documentation is required if admitted into the program before enrollment. 
The most difficult thing I have found with these websites is that they're just not very user friendly. Obviously nobody at Apple is making this website and it shows. And the final school we're going to talk about today is Medical University of Gdańsk, all the way up in North Poland. Here on the homepage, it shows you an overview of the admissions process. Next, it talks about admissions steps, including deadlines and opening dates for the application process. Next, it notes you need a high school diploma with grades from biology and chemistry, physics, or math. In this next section, it shows documents required for the admissions process, which include a high school diploma translated, a photocopy of passport or ID, a recent headshot, and a certificate of English skills. Once accepted, further documents required include the original of your high school diploma, a signature confirming financial obligation, confirmation of health insurance, and orientation week fee. Here also is listed the tuition of the school as well as that additional fee for the orientation week that this school requires. Okay guys, well that pretty much wraps up the video. I just wanted to share a few tips that I learned along the way through my application process. Before we get into that, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button in the bottom corner. First being, what is an apostle and where do you find it? Well, an apostle is basically a stamp that certifies a document as internationally recognized. So if a school is asking for a transcript to be apostolized, apost apostled, apostized? If they're asking for your transcripts, <laughs> then all you need to do is go to, well, for me, I had to go to my secretary of state office. Basically, it was just a 10 minute process and I was out of there. So it's not a big deal, just definitely don't wait until the last minute, like I might have done. The next thing I wish I would have known is the cost difference between applying to medical schools in Poland and applying to medical schools in the US. Basically, you can almost apply to every single university in Poland for the cost of applying to one medical school in the United States. And that's saying something. It's definitely more affordable to apply here and give yourself some more options. For example, maybe if in the US you can only afford to apply to five schools, here you could afford to apply to 10 schools. My final piece of advice today is regarding the competency test. My personal competency test that I took for my school was kind of a hybrid between a SAT and MCAT and like an AP exam or like even like a college biology final. Basically the formatting was pretty similar to the MCAT where you have a paragraph and then maybe five questions related to that paragraph and so on and so on and so on. But the content rigor was closer to that of an introductionary biology course or even like an advanced placement course from high school. What was my last thing? I know that the Polish medical school websites can be really difficult to navigate and I wish someone would have made this video for me last year. Um, so hopefully I could help somebody out there struggling with this topic right now. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment them below. I will be happy to answer any more questions in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know what kind of videos to make in the future and hit that subscribe button so I can continue to make videos like this to help upcoming and current medical students. That's all for me today. Bye.